Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf and today I'm going to show you one video which I recorded back in 2015 with one of my cars and in future on this channel TechWolf I also plan to do a car reviews. So I decided to put this video in or place this video also on this channel because I'm a huge car enthusiast and this is one of my old cars and I also wanted it to come with this journey to me and that's why I also decided to upload this to TechWolf channel and just to have it here and to see how I was acting and how I was performing when I was recording videos when I started out in 2015 so you will also see this in this video so don't judge this video too hard guys just let me know what you think about that video but in general that was one of my first videos which I have recorded and confidence level obviously was not the same as I have it now and so on and so forth but before I jump in into this video guys I wanted to give an another shout out and shout out today will goes to the MAGA family channel they gave me also a shout out on their YouTube channel in one of their latest videos this is very friendly and very nice channel guys about different subjects as you can see do it yourself milestones they are doing videos on unboxing challenges cooking and many other things come in and check out MAGA family channel because this is really very very friendly channel guys and Let's just help this channel grow faster. Come in, subscribe to my channel. Now guys, let's get into the video. Today we are going to review E280 Mercedes-Benz. As you remember from previous video, we had we reviewed my BMW or previous videos, one of which I sold and now I have this E-Class driving in it. We will be doing a test drive as well, but in this video I will just show you interior and exterior of this car. will tell a little bit about this car. I am very surprised and I really enjoy this car. Much better car uh, if you have been driving key 60 BMW 5 Series and you know that all, almost all BMWs take a lot of oil but with this car I have already drive uh, 1000 since I bought it and actually I told you guys that I will create a video straight away when I buy it but drive 1000 kilometers and it is so smooth and it doesn't take oil like it oil as you know guys oil taking is the problem for BMWs and if you buy BMW you know that you will have to fill up oil which doesn't seem to be a problem with Mercedes and Mercedes is very good and I find driving much more comfortable with this Mercedes E-Class rather than I had this BMW. I'm not saying that BMW is a bad car but I will do a comparing video in another video. But today let's have a look at this car, let's have a look at interior and let's have a look at exterior of this car. I will show you around this car and if you have any questions like just leave them under this video and I will answer you guys. Okay let's have a look at this car now. First thing what you will notice is on this gear stick there is written elegance. This means that this model is elegance model. It's not the fully loaded model but anyway it has a lots of features which you can find on this particular Mercedes E280 or W211 Mercedes Benz like and here there is a this is like Tiptronic it has gearbox it has drive rear ne neutral and it has a Tiptronic on it it has you can change gearbox uh, gears with this stick as well once it is in drive I will switch it on later and show you then we have here small like box like this then we have this and as, as you remember guys I showed you where you can find your Bluetooth on this Mercedes it is it is in here so next thing is has light leather saloon it has like different features here as you see you can lock the door by clicking this button if you notice the door is now open if I click this button click the door automatically closes or you can open it by clicking this button and it will open the central lock from inside but actually this Mercedes when you start driving it has a feature that it locks itself automatically so you don't have to really lock anything 
Then what we have here, here is headrest, here is the button for headrest and all it does it just uh, closes the headrest as you see on the back there are headrests and if I will click this button for headrest as you see this one then those headrests will close down as you see, I will click it actually I think my car needs to be started to close them down so let's put the key into ignition as you see key is here then you turn once and you turn twice it's not still car is still not running but now if I will click this button look what happens if I go back as you see that's what it does what that particular button does it just lowers down those headrests so next thing as I already showed you in one of my videos where you can find CD changer on this Merc is by clicking on this button CD changer comes out and you can add up to six CDs in here and one CD in uh, radio or audio system itself and if you want to close it you just click this button again and it closes down what else do we have as you see it has a computer and the main thing is that the main computer is in between is in the middle there if you click on these buttons like this then that main computer in the center is changing actually as you see I'm clicking it and in the center it is changing and there are different settings which you can set to this particular car and these settings depend from complexion of your car or from features which are built into your car we have here audio if I click this button on it switches on audio I don't need this music then we have this CD changer here we can send uh, like change bus for example if we want like by clicking on this button you see there is bus there is terrible which you can change by clicking if you are in bus for example if you would want to go higher as you see minus and plus is here if you want higher you just click this and it goes up if you want to lower bus it goes down no point for me playing you this music because you will not be able to hear the quality of sound anyway and actually quality of Merck's uh, audio system is amazing it's much better than in BMW however this is not a Harman Gordon which is another audio system which is even better than this one this is simple like standard uh, system like as you see it's simple speakers it has speakers there one speaker it has like whistler in the door one big speaker with woofer in there and then it has like central speaker here and it has back speakers and it is like sound of audio is amazing guys in this car it is much 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 better than in BMW E60 I had before then what, el what else we have we have this glow department kind of it's rather small I find it actually very small but it's okay because I don't really carry anything around so for me it's all, always almost empty then we have here this pharmacy thing as you see you can open up and there is like first aid kit in here and you can close it if you want then under the driver's seat there is one more as well but that's for extinguisher I will not be able to show you at this time because I am actually sitting here next thing is parking sensors and parking sensors are here in the front these are parking sensors you can see the distance of your parking here on this front and there is one more back on the top if you see on the ceiling there is one more on the back and you can see your parking and there are green lights come up when you start moving or someone is moving around your car for, for example you can switch off your parking sensor for example if you are driving around somewhere in, in city center and then someone is passing by your car and your parking sensors are getting activated then here at the gearbox there is such a button P as you see you can click on it and red light comes up this means the parking sensors are switched off and you will not be getting distracted when you are driving in city center so you can remove it and now when this light is not on this means that your parking sensors are working so yes guys this is pretty much it about this car and as you see it has automatic windows and it almost comes as a standard 
for all these cars you can block all wind or all other passengers for opening or closing windows by clicking this button as you see it comes red when it's activated when you click on it again it, it takes off and then we have mirrors electric wind mirrors you can switch which mirror you want right or left for example and then you just adjust them by clicking these buttons one more interesting thing about this mark which i wanted to tell you about is this handbrake it's very weird because first thing when i to this mark as you see it's automatic gearbox it should have these two only like kind of places uh, and i found this one more pedal or how you call it and this is for putting a handbrake and when you click on it like like this when you push on it this means that your handbrake is now on and to release your handbrake you go on the other side for example and pull this to yourself and now your handbrake is released and this is how handbrake works in this mark in this particular mark then you have all system like audio phone for example when you have connected your bluetooth like i showed you in another video you can navigate here if someone is calling you you click this button if you want to call you just navigate through your bluetooth and if you want to see how it works you just click on this button and check main computer in the middle if I will be clicking this button, I need to click until I get to my phone. And I changed my phone's name to Martin's phone. And to, to like search for contacts, I just need to click these buttons up and down. As you see, there is one contact, there is another now contact, there is another contact. And if I want to call this contact, all I need to do is just click this button call or this button which is here or here as you see on the dashboard there is another button, a phone kind of menu button where you can change phones and yes in audio you can as you see here are more buttons which you can click and change radio stations or set up radio stations and things like that or yes and this is pretty much it for interior and as you see this is how interior looks it's a good interior it's a good leather in mercs and always in mercs there is very good leather as you see guys it is very good quality leather in mercedes and it's this clean car it's 08 uh, 08 e280 